What is the hantavirus? I think it's a virus that's carried by rodents out in the desert. Are you aware of the current outbreak in the United States? Yeah, I heard about it. How did you hear about it? Oh, I heard about it from my um, brother's cousin's father-in-law. Do you know what the hantavirus is? No. What's the hantavirus? Do you know what the hantavirus is? No, I'm not familiar with that. So you're not aware that there's a current outbreak right now in the southwest United States? A virus outbreak? No. Oh my gosh. The hantavirus. What is it? And why is it causing so many deaths in the United States? Dr. Matthew Roop, can you please explain to us what the hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is? Uh, it's a, uh, the infection of the lungs causing major respiratory distress. What is the hantavirus? The hantavirus, that is um, uh, a virus that they found in the southwest. I've been monitoring um, the CDC's coverage on that um, from their morbidi Morbidities and Mortalities Weekly Report and they identified this uh, virus carried by uh, mice um, in the southwest it's, that's um, caused a major outbreak and many deaths. kind of reminded me of the, the bubonic plague um, and have some similar vectors, although it's a virus this time instead of a bacterium. And it also reminded me of the outbreak of the unknown um, killer of Legionnaire's disease in the, in the 70s or 80s, a massive um, deaths are due to uh, a bacteria that was caught in the air filters of, of a hotel um, at a Legionnaires convention. So kind of reminded me of that, the way that they followed, um, you know, doing their own crime scene investigation, trying to figure out what was the culprit causing all those deaths. So how did you first find out about it? This one, um, I, they, uh, the Morbidities and Mortalities report in the CDC website um, showed that there was beginning to be a spike in, in um, deaths of unknown origin in the Southwest. What is the hantavirus? Well, the hantavirus is a virus that is carried by uh, rodents, and it uh, has very severe effects on humans um, up to I believe it's a 20 percent, uh, 10 to 20 percent uh, death rate with the hantavirus. And <coughs> excuse me, exposure to the hantavirus is from exposure to excretions from rodents. And specifically, I believe it's the white-footed mouse. So you know about the current outbreak? Yes, I've heard about the current outbreak. I'm very disturbed about it. So how did you find out about it? Well, um, I uh, have uh, news alerts coming to my uh, uh, iPhone, and so of course it was it was a news alert that uh, uh, alerted me to it. At first, the hantavirus's signs and symptoms can easily be confused with the common flu. What are some of the signs and symptoms associated with this virus? Early signs are uh, fever, fatigue, and muscle aches, and those are usually the universal symptoms. Uh, patients also experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The late symptoms come four to ten days later as the lungs fill with fluid. Patients experience shortness of breath and uh, coughing. How is this virus diagnosed? Uh, blood tests can reveal if your body has made antibodies specific to the antibodies. After a virus is detected in your body, the immune system will develop antibodies to try to fight and get rid of the virus attacking your cells. There are certain tests done by scientists in the lab that can determine if you have the virus or not. We conclude that this outbreak was a hint of virus. Well, what we did was we uh, performed the ELISA test, and it stands for enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. And uh, it's a process used to determine if an individual has been affected with a specific pathogen. What we did is we tested all these pathogens, and uh, of the six that we tested out of the two patients, uh, the, the positive was the hantavirus. Cases of the hantavirus usually occur in rural areas like fields, forests, and farms, and rodents such as deer mice can be the form of transmission. What is the treatment for this virus? 
Uh, right now, there's no specific treatment. Uh, however, if it is caught early, the patient can be treated with oxygen therapy in the ICU. What did you experience with the hantavirus? At first I had a really bad fever, I was really dizzy, and I was experiencing muscle aches. And then several days later I started coughing, I had an unproductive cough, but then I was really short of breath and I felt like I couldn't breathe, so I went to the ICU. Um, they immediately admitted me and took care of me. And the feeling of having this virus, I just, I felt like I wasn't going to make it, I really thought I was going to die. If you think you or someone you know has the hantavirus, please contact a doctor immediately or go to the hospital. This virus should not be taken lightly and can result in death. For more information, please visit www.cdc.gov.